here from MPT. I'm gonna get some dynographs on the 2017 F-150 EcoBoost. Man, do I love this truck. Now today, it's currently 91 degrees outside and it's even hotter inside. But we're gonna throw our 2017 on the dyno and see what it makes before and after. So pretty cool, we're gonna actually use the N-Gage to record our data log. And you can see here, we actually have some pretty hot intake temperatures. 138 degrees just sitting here. I tap the screen and hit start log, and we're ready to make our hit. Nice, so that was 432 horsepower and 446 foot-pounds of torque. That was a hit in fifth gear in super hot weather in Florida. Our intake temperatures are 138 degrees right now. This is 93 octane, stock intercooler, stock intake, stock truck. So after we completed our run, we simply tap the screen to stop the data log, and it's that easy. That data log is now saved on the N-Gage, and if we want to view it on a computer, we can take the SD card out with us. Alright, I'm just going to make a couple more hits uh, while it's still tuned, and so we can kind of get an average of all three. I'm gonna do another one right now while it's freaking hot to see what it makes on the third hit. Okay, so that was 432 and 444 foot pounds of torque. We're gonna make another hit right now while it's still hot and see what it makes on the third one. There we go, 431 and 441. So the horsepower dropped by one over three hits, and the torque dropped by five over three hits. Very consistent, 432 horsepower, with an average of 444-ish foot-pounds of torque to the wheels, this gear. So let's see what it makes on a stock tune in this freaking hot weather. After you flash a tune, it's completely normal to see all these lights on the gauges, service advanced track, steering fault. We just installed a completely stock tune back into the gauges, connect, and you can see on first startup those lights are already gone. So we're ready to make our three hits on the stock calibration. Alright, so that hit was 319 and 349. Let's do it again. That run actually felt a little better, but looking at the dyno graph, it was 309 horsepower and 337 foot-pounds of torque. So we're dropping pretty bad while we're stopped. And here goes the third hit, so we can average the three. And the last run was 308 horsepower and 334 foot-pounds of torque. So our stock hits were 319, 309, 308, and for torque, we had 349, 337, and 334. All right, that's a wrap for our before and after, and I wanted to reveal a secret about today's dyno session. That was actually a 91 octane tune that we sent to Koi Connor. On our previous hits using our 93 octane, we've made even more horsepower than we did today. Pretty incredible what these trucks can do. 